Hey everyone, this is Captain Lando Muniz with Nomad Fishing Charters and today we're kind of riding out Hurricane Ian, so we're docked. We haven't fished this week due to the storm. It looks like we might not be fishing for two or three more days until things settle down. So I decided to bring you a video on a theme that's not touched upon very uh, commonly, which is releasing fish. We talk a lot about catching fish, and we talk about handling fish, and so forth and so forth, but we never really talk about how to properly release fish. Now today, uh, I'm going to be focusing on something called barrel trauma, which is basically what happens to a bottom fish when you bring them up from the deep, especially when you bring them up from the deep fairly quickly. Um, down here in South Florida, we have a big shark problem. Uh, sharks do eat a lot of our fish, so when we hook a nice fish, we try to bring them up as fast as we can to get them away from the sharks. The downside to that is a lot of these fish, snapper, grouper, when they come up, they're full of air, their swim bladder, some people say it's their stomach, but it's not their stomach, it's their swim bladder. With the change of pressure, their swim bladder fills with air and it kind of pops out of their mouth. So sometimes you see stuff coming out of the fish that doesn't belong there. And the damage is not irreversible, okay? But if you are not intending to keep this these fish, if you are intending, oh, we got a big gust of wind coming through, hold on. If you're planning to harvest the fish, it's not a problem. You could simply throw them on ice, do whatever you normally do with your fish. That's fine. But if it's an undersized fish or a fish you don't want to keep for whatever reason, it's important that you release them the right way so you're not just feeding them to the sharks or to the birds or to the predators. It's important to release them the right way. Okay. Uh, there's different tools on the market that can be used for releasing fish. Um, and they all work to varying degrees. I use this here, uh, this release tool here. It's a pretty simple tool, looks like a, like a large paper clip. Uh, and even though it's kind of pointed in, you're really not sticking the fish with this or anything. It's hooked up to a fairly large lead. I got about a three or four pound uh, stick lead on mine. Uh, the lead can be adjusted depending on how deep you're fishing and you're releasing your fish. In our case, we fish a lot of uh, deeper spots in 200, 300, sometimes even 400 foot of water. So if we are going to release a fish, we need some heavy weight, especially when the current's running pretty hard, okay? So the way this tool works is, let's say you catch a fish, and it's pretty obvious when there's barrel trauma, because you'll see the swim bladder kind of uh, trying to protrude out of their mouth or something of that nature. Sometimes you'll see the scales kind of like uh, busting out or they're kind of like, they don't look right. Uh, what you got to do is take that fish, try to handle the fish as little as possible, Remove the hook, hopefully you're using a circle hook. You can remove it real easy. Uh, get that hook out. And you're gonna take this pointy end and you're gonna go from behind the gill plate, not the gills, you don't want to get the gills caught up in this. You wanna go right between the gills and that face plate, that gill, gill plate there. And you're gonna go from the back towards the mouth and come out of the mouth. So basically your hook or your hook is gonna be up like this and your fish is going to be hanging from here. Okay, the, the head of the fish is going to be up here to the mouth and the tail is going to be down at the bottom. And you're going to take this device, this is going to be connected to a line on a yo-yo like this, a hand line. You're going to take this with the fish hanging and as soon as possible and as soon as you're ready, sometimes it helps to have another person on the boat holding the line. It doesn't really matter as long as you two coordinate. You're going to take this and just drop it. What happens is when you drop it, the weight of the lead is going to take this and turn it around. And it's important at this, this point not to hold the line, let the line go. So this is going to start sinking rapidly. The fish is going to trail behind this. Its, its head is going to be pointing down towards the bottom. So this is going to just force the fish down and you're going to continue to let line out until that fish reaches the desired depth. Now, you don't need to let the fish all the way down to the bottom. You just need to get them close. Let's say you're fishing in 120 feet of water. You probably only need to let them down 80 and 90 feet. That's more than enough. Once you reach an approximate depth where you want to release the fish, you're just going to take your line and stop it and maybe just give it a good jerk just to make sure the fish slides off the device. Once the fish slides off, most of the time that fish is going to just swim away because as the fish is going down in the water column, 
his organs and everything is going back to normal and that air is basically leaving his body. So that barotrauma that was keeping him on the surface and keeping him from swimming down is no longer present. So most of the time, if the fish is in good shape, you just swim away, okay? And this has been studied, these devices have been tested and do work. Now, is it 100%? No system is 100%. Doesn't matter what you do, when you release a fish, you're never gonna have 100% uh, success rate. But like I like to say, let's say the percentage is 50%. 50% is a lot better than 0%, okay? And the reason we wanna release these fish uh, is obvious. We want to be able to catch these fish in the future. A lot of these bottom fish are resident fish and they're going to be in these areas for years. So you may come back a month later and catch the same fish when it's a legal size. Okay. Um, your friends may come back and catch that fish or your children or grandchildren might come back years from now and catch that same fish when he's a trophy size. So this is a really important practice. We spend a lot of time learning how to catch fish but it's just as important to learn how to release fish. If you guys have any questions on this topic, you can leave them in the comments section. Oops. Oops, it looks like we got hit by the winds there. Um, it is blowing pretty good here, for at least 40 mile an hour winds and some gusts higher than that. So everybody, until next time, stay safe. I'll see you soon. My name is Captain Landon Muniz with Nomad Fishing Charters.